Yeah, man. Yeah, man. He say I'm back with a 45. Forgot I had this shirt, shot. But it's very, very, very uh symbolic of this video today. This shoe is back. Well, ain't officially back for another couple of months, but it's back this year, 2024. And y'all got me nervous about these, Shouty. From the pictures I've been seeing, from the comments that I've been seeing, y'all got me nervous about these shoes, man. Not nervous for real. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a shoe, but when they bring back a grill Jordan, when they bring back a sneaker, like one of the best colorways of an OG shoe it feel like i mean even though the last one dropped a few years ago it feel like when you have to when you have we don't get them all the time and they sell out and they don't never they're not readily available at all times when you get the shoe you want it to be a one you want it to be steak sauce you feel me you want that thing you want to put them things out the box and you can just hear them oh. You want you want to be like, this is it. I waited for these and they knocked these out the park. That's what you want to hear. You feel me? Um, and from what I'm hearing from some people, they didn't quite knock these out the park. But I will look upon them with my own eyes. I will judge for myself. So anyway, what it is, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a bliss. Day to day, man. Today, we get into a pair. Let's go ahead and 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 and, and dispense with the pleasantries. We had a whole conversation via yesterday. Shout out to everybody who looked at my vlog and stuff like that. And I know I talked a lot in that video, so we're gonna be a little sweet, short, and simple in this one, man. You feel me? Go ahead and unbox it. Shout out to my guy, Fine Line Seventeen Twenty One, for just shipping these to me, man, so I can see what they looking like. Um, everybody was. Trying to bust heads on the resale for these early, so I was like, you know what? I think when the shoe drop, it's gonna be a GR. It's gonna be pretty. I ain't gonna say easy, but it's, I mean, I, I feel like these not gonna be that. They ain't gonna put up a fight like that. So when when they drop, so I I, I skipped out on a paying the early resale for these. And if people want to pay the early resale for these, I wouldn't I wouldn't blame you, cause like I said, man, hype moves mysteriously. So I don't know how the shoe gonna do. Honestly, I just feel like. I feel like I'll be able to walk in the mall and just get a pair of these. I feel, y'all, after I show the shoe and talk about it, y'all can comment below how do y'all feel the release going to be? Is it going to be easy? You think you're going to be able to walk into the mall? I feel like at some point in a mall vlog, I'm going to be showing these shoes and holding them in my hand in the thumbnail. I just feel like that. I could be wrong because it didn't happen with the last colorway um, that was very similar to this shoe. Um, did I hold that shoe in hand in the thumbnail? I don't think I did. <laughs> I don't even know if I ever saw any pair sitting beside GS. But anyway, enough talking. As y'all can see, y'all know what it is. You see the box. You see the box. And you know what the shoe is. You know what the shoe is. You know. You know what the shoe is. So anyway, you got your dark uh, elephant print around the side of the box. You know what I'm saying? You got your OG style Nike Air box uh, red jump man. OG vibes, OG vibes, OG vibes. So let's see what these things looking like finally, man. Let's see what they look. I say finally and the shoe don't drop. You know, finally for an early pair. Let's see what they looking like. Uh, a lot of YouTubers got reviews of these up already. And this thing about being a YouTuber, bro, you can get a shoe two, week, two months early and still have a plethora of reviews up before yours, man. That's just how it is nowadays, man. We get them early pairs. So anyway. See what they looking like, man. That's the inside of the box. Oh, yeah, stuff falling out. That's the inside of the box right there. This is the card that we've been getting with the OG uh, threes and oh, yeah, the three. Oh, OG threes kind of like reimagine threes came with this card. Like anything OG black. I mean, um, fire red threes came with this card. So um, let's finally see what they looking like in hand, man. Shout out to Fine Line for shipping them. Real swift light, and there you have it. There you have it. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so 
What size is this? This is 11. I mean, I don't see what all the hubbub is about. These hoes, these hoes clean, man. I don't see what the hubbub is, the hubbub. You know I had to bring, if I had to bring the word hubbub about, out. Like, I don't get it, Shadow. You feel me? I don't get it. People told me some man, 2018 were better and this and that. And they they should have just went all the way OG. These is hard. Like, what do y'all talk? What do y'all want? What do y'all want? Those are it, man. The Air Jordan 3 OG. Not reimagined. Remember the rumors was reimagined at first? It's just the Air Jordan 3 OG black cement colorway. This is, in fact, and if you heard me say it in videos before, if you haven't, you're going to hear it now. This is my favorite Air Jordan 3 ever. Favorite OG colorway, favorite Air Jordan 3 ever. Classic vibes. Best Air Jordan 3 ever, in my humble opinion. In my humble opinion, you feel me? And these hard, man. I mean, they look like... They're loose. They're, I, I thought they was going to look more like those um, um, those uh, green glow 3s that dropped. Because when I'm from the pictures, I mean, it has a very similar shape to that shoe. And, um... But, I don't know, man. The elephant print is nice on these to me. Like, I, a lot of people complain about the elephant print. And it's different. I got my 2018s right here. I do a slick little comparison in a few. But first of all, let's just kind of go over these, man. So here's what they look like, people. This is the Air Jordan 3 black cement colorway. The leather is actually soft, shot. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I guess y'all expect that super tumble. 2018s had more of a tumble. I will give it that. But I feel like back in 1980. Eight when these released, I feel like it was more of this type of leather. I feel like it was more of that. Look at that. It's still a pretty good. Look at that, man. It's still a pretty good soft leather on these. Is hard. You know what I'm saying? The lighter elephant print. I'm not crazy about, but I don't know, man. In the 80s, maybe that's what it looked like. This elephant print was like on everything in the 80s. It wasn't just on Jordans. It was on British Knights. You had some LA Gears that had elephant print. You had, um, and then you had the whole Jordash vibe. If y'all remember the 80s, then you do. If you don't, you don't. Early 90s, late 80s, you had that whole kind of vibe going on. This shoe is a product of the 80s. This original silhouette and the elephant print and all that, it just reminds me of the 80s, regardless of what. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, like I said, decent black leather on there. Lighter elephant print. Like I said, the deeper elephant print looked better to me, but I don't think, this ain't no deal breaker. These shoes clean as hell, man. This colorway is so classic. On the back, you got that Nike Air on that ass, pal. It's on there. Hey, you talking about? And it's filled, it's filled in. It's kind of, it's very centered. It's kind of, it's very filled in. It looks dope. Uh, excuse the noise in the background. They, uh, they doing my yard. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, one thing that I really, and like I said, this is the original, this is the like how the original shoe came. It's not a lot of red on the shoe. It's just not a lot of red. You can wear a whole lot of Air Jordan 3s that look similar to this and with pants on, you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. Except for when you get up to the front and you see those little red uh, in the, in the uh, aglets, eyelets. Yeah, in the eyelets, the little, little red lace holes, you feel me? And then, on, of course, the tongue, which I like this shape of this tongue better than the 2018s. When they start doing the Air Jordan 3s with this minimalized tongue, you can't see the, the red. See how the red in the back? You can't see that on the side, and you can't really see it in the front that good. But you do have that stitched uh, jump man right there in that red popping. You know what I'm saying? And they also have the red on the bottom, the classic gray, red, and white on the bottom. You know what I'm saying? They didn't vintage it out. I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. They did that with the remastered uh, white cements. They kind of vintage them out a little bit. I'm glad they didn't do that with these. I'm glad they... I wonder what was the decision from them not making this a remastered because we just got this shoe in 2018. 
So I wonder whether it was the decision of them not doing something different with this shoe. I don't know what it was. Because you usually don't see them come out that close to the last release and really pretty much just be the same shoe. This is the same shoe. It just has the cut that we've been getting on the Air Jordan 3s lately. And it has the, um, I mean, like I said, I mean, the different leather a little bit. It's pretty much the Air Jordan 3. I was just talking about how that um, that white and cement gray Air Jordan 3 we got recently. I was just talking about that at the mall yesterday. It looks just like this shoe. The shape, the materials, everything look just like that shoe on these. So this is what this is the assembly line. This is what we get in these materials and this shape is what we get in the Air Jordan 3s now, bro. You feel me? So I like it. I like the OG cut better, honestly. I, I like this cut better than the 2018. I'm like, I'm gonna do this comparison right quick. I'm gonna do this comparison. But uh we got the OG hang tag going on right here on the left shoe. OG hang tag, real thin plastic hang tag. You know what I'm saying? Some people refer some people prefer the retro hang tag, the thicker hang tag that we was getting for years. I like this because it's just I'm not gonna wear it. So it really don't matter to me. I don't have to have a chain or nothing. They had a little tab. It has a little uh, plastic thing to hold it on there. Just like the originals did in the eighties. I don't have to have all that extra stuff because I'm not gonna wear it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, left shoe, hang tag. Y'all know what they looking like. Air Jordan three black cements best air jordan 3 ever in my oh so humble opinion you feel me so anyway let's do this comparison and then we'll get out y'all here man the shoe is super clean to me i ain't mad at it this is my 2018 pair which i've been wearing faithfully i've been wearing it a lot because i knew these was dropping and off top when you look at the two shoes together off top the biggest thing that you see and I can see now while I'm holding them up together I can see why people like the 2018 better is the elephant print not only is it darker but it's more defined you can actually tell it's elephant print from a distance with these right here you mean you just can't like I said I don't know if it was like that in the 80s or not don't get me the line bro I feel like it might have been a little deeper elephant print but I don't know I do not own a 1988 pair of this shoe I don't but against the 2018s, the tumbled leather <clears throat> makes them pop more. Like I said, I'm not mad at these. The tumbled leather makes them pop more. The um, <clears throat> the uh, more defined elephant print makes the shoe pop more. You know what I'm saying? The only thing that I would probably take on the 2024s over the 2018s is the shape. Because you got to look at even the gray, how dark, you see how much darker the gray is on the 2018? It bounces off of that red and that black way better than this one. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, may, if, if this is more like the OG in 1988, I feel like the enhancements they did to the 2018 over the 1988. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they make the shoe pop more. They make the shoe look better. Maybe it's just me. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully we'll get true blue threes and stuff like that. Um, like this. I will say, like I said, looking at it against my 2018s make me be like, damn, the 2018s are slick better. I just like the shape better on these. I just like the overall shape. It looks less fat. You know what I'm saying? The 2000. 18s just kind of look really, really like a like a fat, bulky shoe. Um, I was hoping, and from this, from this, from this angle, they don't look like they did it. But I was hoping they would bring the toe box down to a. It it might be a little bit. I think the 20 24s toe box is a little bit more um, flatter, not as bulky looking, which I do like that. But I was I was hoping like the, the pictures that you see it are 1988. It, it slopes it slopes all the way down to a point. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't know. By looking at these two side by side, bro, my scuffed up on the back a little bit. I don't, I, I start wearing them more. They would look newer than this. I start wearing them more when they said we was getting these, bro. Which I probably should have actually just you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna clean them up now. I'm gonna try to get some of these scuffs off because I'm st I feel like. Okay, this is what I'm going to say. Out of 10, number one, am I getting them? Am I getting these? Probably, yeah. If I can go get them for retail, i probably cop. You know what I'm saying? Technically, I don't need them because I got these, but I don't know how long these are going to last. So, yeah, I, I'm going to get them. But out of 10, when I first unboxed these, y'all watch my unboxing of this shoe when I first got it. I loved this shoe. I was super excited and super over the top about this shoe, bro. 
And I gave it, I'm pretty sure, I don't, I don't even know if I was doing grades back then, but I would have gave it a 10 out of 10. These right here, we're going to give a solid 8 out of 10. I love the shape, but that's almost, I, the fact that it's one of my favorite colorway in the Jordan 3, that's number one. But then, I love the shape. But, the fact, if it wasn't for the 2018 having that better looking uh, leather that make the shoe just pop, got that little shine to it. And that better looking um, elephant print. And that darker kind of like gray. It just, I don't know, this shoe just pops so much more to me than this shoe. This shoe just looks way more like generic, if that make any sense, than the 2018s. I still like it. I feel like I'm still going, if I can get a retail, I'm still going to cop these right here. 8 out of 10. But I don't know, man. Honestly, yeah, I can't even cap. I can't even count. I can't even count. I, I was going into this video thinking I was going to kind of like debunk a lot of people. Be like, man, y'all don't know what y'all talking about, man. They, they got a new shape. These are better. Da, da, da. They Y'all just, y'all ain't, sneakerheads ain't never satisfied. I, I was I went into that video thinking I was going to feel like that. But after comparing these two, man, 2018 is better, bro. 2018 is better, bro. And it's so crazy to say that because I do like the shape a whole lot better because it's slimmed down. I like I don't like my shoes look super bulky, even though I got a lot of bulky shoes. These just look so much more bulkier, but they just look better. They just with the materials in the elephant print, these just these just look better, man. So anyway, I'm gonna stop going back and forth. I end up talking a whole lot longer than I thought I would, but it's an OG shoe. You gotta kinda like you gotta get your opinions in, man. But I'ma leave it all to y'all, Rich Nation. Y'all tell me what do y'all think about the air jordan 3 in the black cement colorway 2024 coming back comment below what y'all thinking you copping uh which one do you think is better between the two comment below your reasons for that like i said these are clean i'm not mad at them at all but um i also feel like because look even look at the elephant prints on these i mean yeah, i guess they're similar but i was gonna say i also feel like um across pairs some of the elephant print might be a little deeper. Some of the leathers might be a little different across pairs. I don't know if all of them are gonna look like this shoe will be superly mass produced. I think it'll be a super general release. So I don't think a lot of people have a problem getting these pairs. Being such a classic shoe, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get me a pair. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna have to be for retail though. It's gonna have to be for retail. So I'm happy for the review. Shit, happy Fine Line sent these to me so I can review them early. But I will be waiting for release day or if I can get them for retail before release day, it's gonna be a retail or bust situation. Anyway, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think of these. Appreciate y'all for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Something I haven't done in a long time. Let's get these the clean stamp of approval. Clank, 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 clank. Clean stamp of approval. Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my videos because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah, yeah. Watch me go stupid the Dara. Check out my kiss in apparel. Rich like a king of fairy, yeah. Yeah, air captain, they calling me jet like I'm sparrow. East Atlanta in my blood, the streets got me twin like Tia to Mary, yeah. Watch out with the Camaro. Stay out my lane, it's too narrow. God more, God more, stay and bless, I'm keeping my eye on the sparrow. Man of the people you did, that singing my name just like it's a carol. Cause my got the juice by the berry, yeah. I can't really help it, bro, they know that I'm the ish, yeah. Catch me boss of sauce and might just pull up right at wish, yeah. LBRG me, now I'm Gucci, Gucci, bricks. But when I step out, bro, it's 10 for 10. I don't miss bricks. Yeah.